Casey Knight said it's pretty upset right now with the new iPhone 14 eSIM system, which he's rightfully so. I mean, everyone is upset about the new thing. How can Apple prevent us in the US market from having a SIM card version? And yet everywhere around the world, you're able to have the SIM card version. It makes no sense. Um, Casey Neistat says on his Twitter rant, he says, why eSIM? What's the advantage? Being able to yank a SIM card and stick it in any phone is near perfect system. Instead, I get to spend an hour on hold. He's right. The traditional system we've had for the last, I would say five, six years, maybe longer, is the easiest thing. All we have to do is put in the SIM popper tool or a paper clip, whichever you have handy, pop it out. Here it is. It takes five seconds and then pop it back into the new phone and it's done. No need to call, no need to go to the store and program it. Just to go back to the tweet, he says, Unable to transfer phone number, your phone number could not be transferred to this iPhone because your account is ineligible for transfer. Contact Verizon for assistance. Obviously, people are blaming Verizon, but it's not Verizon's fault. I think it's just the eSIM system in general. The eSIM system has been an issue as of late uh, for all carriers. And this is one of the things that he's totally right about is why can't we just go back to the traditional system or why can't the US market have the SIM card version and just pop it in and out. We've always had eSIM for the last two or three years, but we had it with the option of, well, we had the eSIM and the physical SIM card. So for those travelers or business people that are traveling outside of the country a lot and they wanted to program their eSIM, let's say with T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, but yet they travel to another country where they can pop in that country's uh, local SIM card, then they would have the issue of having dual service on that phone, which would be great. Now they took that option away with no physical SIM card and it kind of makes it hard um, in this type of situations where you're having programming issues. Sometimes you have to call, sometimes you have to go into the store. Sometimes you do have the option to go online, enter your MEI and it'll program it for you. Not all, it doesn't always work, but that is an option that is there for some people and it works for many. So if you do want to get a physical SIM card version of the iPhone 14 or 14 Pro, you can get it outside of the US. Uh, Canada is your best bet if you're in North America or pretty much any other country. Um, but if you are interested and you don't care about the eSIM issue, it's not an issue for you. I'll put the links below for Amazon, whether you want to get iPhone 14, 14 Pro, 13 Pro. Uh, my advice, get the 13 Pro. For now, if you're here in the US, and I'll have links below if you want to purchase one. And uh, yeah, guys, if you guys like the video, hit like, it helps out. Thank you for watching. Peace.